All right, so we're out here at the dock. We're gonna catch some mullet real quick for potentially some snook fishing later, but also I'm gonna do a whole smoked mullet recipe. Give it a thumbs up if that's what you wanna see. Hopefully we can get some, let's go. How does that cast not have a hole in it? Oh, that's the old one? Yeah. I noticed that right. I got the big ones. God bless. Big old mullet. Those are gonna be perfect. Check out that. Jeez, boy, we love the big mullet. Right. God knows. Here, try to put them in here, Josh. We made it back here. I have my mullet here. Stephanie was kind enough to put them on ice. They've been pretty much in ice water this whole time. Now we're gonna preheat the smoker to 200 degrees and I'm gonna pretty much butterfly these and get them ready for the smoker. Gonna open them up just like that. Nah, don't get much fresher than this. They're a little squeamish. May wanna look away. Viewer discretion is advised. There you go. Now we got two fillets right here. Boom. So now I'm just washing the fillets off. As you can see, big difference from there to there. And I'm not. I'm gonna leave the rib cage and everything on. I'm leaving the skin on, just like that. I'm not gonna take that off. We're gonna smoke it and lay it skin side down, scales and all. So I'm gonna set the temperature. Now, it only requires one fish for this particular recipe. And I'm gonna set the temperature at 200 degrees. All right, so what I've went ahead and done and added a quarter cup of kosher salt and a tablespoon and a half of sugar and mixed it all in. So now what you wanna do is lightly coat your fillets. You wanna make sure you're really getting an even coverage on the fish, the meat itself. So now that we have it evenly coated our fish with the uh, combination of salt and sugar, we want to allow it to cure for 30 minutes and ultimately dry out before putting it into the smoker. The smoker is preheating. Uh, it was at 70 degrees. We need to get it up to heat to about 200 degrees and that takes about 20 to 30 minutes. I'm preparing the fish, baby. Sure. Are you, are you hungry? Sure, the fish. Are you hungry? You ready for some fish? All right, guys, Come. stay tuned. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the, the, we're gonna set the smoker for two to two and a half hours at 200 degrees, and that's what I'm doing here. So two hours, 23 minutes, it's gonna heat up. I'll put it in there for two hours at temperature, and uh, then we'll check it. I don't like to overdo anything. Now what I did do is pre-soak my wood chips. So you usually let these wood chips pre-soak for about 15, 20 minutes, and this is just gonna be hickory, guys, is the smoke flavor. So in about 15 minutes, I'll put those into my smoker, uh, about a half a cup at a time, and uh, we'll be ready. I'm gonna take this olive oil spray. I'm gonna spray my pan, put a light coat, and I'm also gonna spray a little bit on the fillets. After that, I wanna take my ground pepper and just put a light coat of pepper. Coat it to your liking. No right or wrong here. I like a little bit more pepper. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my fillets on my pan. Everything's preheated at this point with the smoker. Check that out. All right, so I couldn't show you us pulling the fillets out of the smoker, but it's two hours later. Yes, that is the beauty of TV magic. So what we got here are two beautiful fillets. A little dehydrated, wouldn't you say? What we're gonna do is flake off this meat right off the, look at this. Look at that, falls right off the skin, guys. How crazy is that? All right, just pull it out, make sure there's no bones. Look at that bone, this is all meat right here. So I can literally pull any of the bones out and the meat right off the the skin. 
So that's all meat there. Go over here. I'm going to do that to this one here as well. This comes right off. So just so you all know, another thing that you could do, and this is a preference thing, some people like it, some people don't, you can remove some of the darker meat or the darker areas. This is gonna give you more of your fishy taste. Uh, this recipe uh, prefers that you remove it. So that's what you see me doing here. All right, so now I'm just throwing the fish in the bowl here, guys. It got me a nice clear bowl. And while I'm putting it in, I'm just double checking, triple checking that there's no uh, extra bone or uh, trying to remove all the, the darker meat off of the, the fish. Because I prefer it not to be as fishy tasting. So we have two eight ounce bars of cream cheese and they've been set out for about an hour at room temperature. This is what you're going to want to use. Let's go ahead and open this up. It's going to go ahead and put this one in. Oh yeah, look at that. And one more eight ounce serving of cream cheese. Look at that, uh, squeeze it out of there like a pastry chef. So now I'm gonna do two tablespoons of mayonnaise. There's one. And there's two. Now we're gonna do a little squirt of some mustard. And that's, you know, that can be determined based off of your liking of mustard, but don't go overboard there. Now we're gonna do a tablespoon, guys, of garlic powder. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna unscrew this. One tablespoon. And let me tell you, garlic powder is delish. So, here we go. Uh, go ahead and just pour that in there. So, good old relish here. We're gonna do a tablespoon of relish, guys. All right, so now we're gonna slice up a nice, beautiful piece of lemon here. And we're gonna hand squeeze that. It's gonna have a little zesty flavor to it, but I love it. You just got a seed in there. Yeah, I know, I heard it. I found it. Don't be dropping seeds, guys. Don't worry, I located the little varmint. At the beginning, when you saw outside, we went ahead and salted it and added a little pepper already. So you can add additional salt and pepper, but due to the fact that we've already done that, we're gonna uh, eliminate that step. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and stir everything together and get it into a nice creamy texture. Oh yeah, it's getting real now, boys and girls. Don't hurt, don't hurt yourself, guys. <laughs> uh. Now look at here, I wanna get it all off the sides. Look at that. Take my little spatula. Look at that ball of heavenly fluff. Lick it. I'm about to, I gotta prepare. Lick it. I gotta prepare. Lick it. I will smack, Give us a taste of that. I will smack you with this. <laughs> Lick it. All right guys, this is the final product. Check it out. You got your fancy little cracker here. Mmm, look at that. You ready? Taste test. You guys need to try this. Everything's gonna be shown on the recipe. It is delicious, guys. Make sure that mullet is fresh. This is gonna be the dish. This is gonna be the dish to serve as your next game day food. So make sure you get some crackers. Make sure you make this dip. It is bomb. Pretty easy to make. Smoker does most of the work. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to check out the article that we're writing with the recipe and also the video. If you like it, please like on the video. Comment down below. Have you tried it? And share. Your friends want to know. Share. Don't be stingy. Till next time, guys, we'll see you on the water.